Thank you, Madam Speaker. Earlier this year, my friend Mark Schlanta died at age 57. He'd been a South Dakota telecommunications leader since 1998. Earlier this year, my friend Greg Dean died at age 58. He'd been a South Dakota telecommunications leader since 1999. Earlier this year, my friend Rod Bauer died at age 60. He'd been a South Dakota telecommunications leader since uh, 1976. Earlier this year, my friend Brian Roth died at age 59. He'd been a South Dakota telecommunications leader since 1998. Now, losing one friend, losing one industry leader is not easy. When you lose four over the past few months, it can be almost more than their friends and family can bear. These were uh, real leaders. Everybody around here talks about broadband. Uh, it, it is uh, a hot topic in Congress for the last few years. Every day, broadband, high-speed internet, broadband, connectivity. But I would tell you that those four gentlemen were involved in broadband long before it was cool, long before it was the hot topic in Washington, D.C. You see, Mark spent 20 years as the CEO of SDN, Originally, it was the South Dakota network, and he turned this into one of the most sophisticated state networks in the country, and he expanded it by 50,000 miles of fiber optic cable. For 20 years, Greg, uh, in his work with the South Dakota Telecommunications Act, was probably the most influential person helping to set uh, rural broadband policy in the halls of the state capitol. For uh, 30 or 40 years, uh, Rod, in his work as the CEO of Kennebec Telephone Company, made sure that two small towns, Kennebec with 281 residents and Presho with 472, had high-speed internet that would be the envy of the largest and most cosmopolitan urban areas in the world. And then for more than 20 years as CEO of Triotel, Brian uh, worked to make sure that that cooperative was the first telephone company in South Dakota, all the way back in 2013, to have 100% of its customers connected with fiber. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, these were titans of the rural broadband arena. But when I think about connectivity and these gentlemen's contribution to it, I don't just think about rural broadband. I think about the connections they made with their families and their communities. It would have been hard to do more for Sioux Falls or for scouting or for his family than Mark did. It would have been hard to do more for uh, the peer community or peer athletics or his family than Greg did. It would have been hard to do more for his church or the outdoors or uh, the Salem community than what Brian did. It would have been hard to do more for Kennebec or for Presho or for the fire department or for his family than Rod did. The contributions for these gentlemen in their communities was absolutely staggering. And so, Madam Speaker, it's uh, altogether appropriate that we focus on their contributions to rural broadband, these four titans of the industry. But I also think it's important to recognize that when they thought of connectivity, when they made a contribution to connectivity, it was about the human connection. No one could do more for the people and the places they loved than Mark and Greg and Rod and Brian did.